What's up guys, Brunsnix back, and I have the one remix from Ebonite. Now this classic throwback was originally out in 2005 and is back with all new technology, GB 14.4 cover and the original Centrex core. So let's get this out on the lanes, see what it does. All right, got the one remix. Layout wise, typical asymmetric layout, 60 by five by 20. I've never thrown the one in my life. I am so excited for this time. This ball originally came out in 05. I, of course, was on Brunswick staff at the time. Couldn't throw it. Saw everybody throwing it. Very jealous. But now, I get to throw it. So you know the deal. We'll start it out wide. Test the limits of this ball. And see what it does. Okay, nine pin start. Wouldn't be a Brunsnick video if we did not have a nine pin start. Now this ball, just by looking at the numbers, ultra low RG, ultra high differential, and an insane intermediate. It's like 027 intermediate, 056 total diff, with like a 246. What does that mean? It means it's gonna be rolly. It's gonna be angular. The core has a big motor in here. Okay. I don't think straighter angles are gonna be the play for the one remix. With all this core, with all this cover, which is the GB 14.4 with compound on top, I don't think the straighter angles are gonna be it. So let's start moving it in. I mean, we nine pin, we threw it in the same spot, went through the face. Let's move five left. Let's start opening the angles a little bit and really see what this ball can do. Oh gosh. What else wouldn't there be a Brunswick video without a missed messenger on the 10. But I sent that one a little wide, it recovered, came behind the head pin. So let's just try to do that again. It's a fresh pattern, we got a little bit more volume. Just try to, a little inside out swing, nothing crazy. Love it, absolutely love it. Even from there, I think this is gonna be a ball that's better suited for opening up angles, covering a little more board, something when the lanes are a little broken down, you can get in and really and really hook it a bit. But we really designed this ball for, for more flip, for more down lane recovery. That's why we have the compound finish on it, it's pretty shiny. Uh, we're gonna stay in the same zone. I wanna throw it again. Let's see what happens if I keep it in just a little bit. Holds pocket and still goes through. Perfect. Okay, that's what I wanna see from that zone. So we'll move another five. So we'll be 10 left for where we originally started. Let's check out the flare, as expected. Ton of flare, all the way down to here, starting here, there. So, pretty much max flare for me. All right, five more left from where we started. Now we get to see what this ball really can do. <laughs> nice. That's a, I don't even know what pin hit the 10 pin on that one. I wouldn't even call that a messenger. That's like a lazy messenger. But battling through that oil, 
I think I just need to keep the speed a little bit lower. Had a box, like I said, real shiny. And so much core involved. All right, a little better. It didn't quite go through the pins as strong. Shiny surface, you know, not a fully developed pattern. You know, we're bowling on fresh, but that's okay. Let's try one more in that zone. In a little. Okay. Maybe that's the key. Play a little bit more fallback. Don't try to like swing super boards with it right now. I can always hit it with some surface. Really widen it out. I think I might. We're gonna move five again. So now we started here. We go here. It's five, ten. 15, we're gonna be 15 left. Speed's gonna be critical. I'm just getting it at the bottom. Great shot. Oh. All right, it is laboring a little bit. Let's hit it with surface. 2000 pad, my trusty sea air. We're just gonna to touch the surface. We're not gonna, we're not gonna lean into it and make it a charcoal brisket. I just really want to see what this ball does. It is a solid cover. It is a strong cover. But I want to see what it does with uh, just a little bit of shine knocked off. All right. 2000 grit by hand, just to see what it does. We can give it just a little sharper off the spot there. that whole different ball much different I mean just taking the surface and I just did that by hand it's not like I went to a spinner and put it on the haws or did a full resurface or anything like that but just giving it a little bit of surface I'm gonna re-rack becoming a staple in a bronze nick ball review so now I feel like automatically my swing is looser. I don't have to worry about ball speed as much. I don't have to worry about much of anything. I can just throw the ball. Just like that. And I know it's gonna come off the spot better. So these are the things, you know, when anybody are, is bowling, when you're watching your ball go through the pins, you really got to pay attention to where it finishes on the deck. Is it coming behind the head pin? Are you leaving flat tens? You know, is it is it kind of rolling forward? And then you got to know which adjustments to make off of that. Throw a couple more shots for you. I'm going to move five more. I think this is going to be a little bit further than I need to be right now, but we'll find out. I got a hold of that one. Hook. Yeah, this uh, from the out of the box and the compound to a little bit of surface now, it's a, a very aggressive ball. I feel like I could swing this ball, cheat left. And what I mean by cheating left is meaning you're balling a tournament or whatever league, you get inside of everybody before they get there. A little bit of an advantage if you could strike. Otherwise, not so great. Big hook, big wheel. All right, that's all for the one remix. Great ball from Ebonite. Great performance. GB 14.4. Gosh, I don't know what I was missing. All those years on Brunswick staff, now I get to throw the one remix. So. Go check this ball out. It's already out for you in your pro shops. Let me know what you guys think, and always subscribe.